very bright. It is early and I always manage to pick up the camera when I don't have makeup on at the moment. This is better. <laughs> so just taking Chloe for a walk this morning. It's red nose day. So at work we have to wear red. I don't really have any red. That's not a cocktail dress. Not really childcare appropriate. Uh, so I'm wearing my Broncos jersey and my headband. <laughs> and um, yeah, just getting ready for fun activities with the bubbies today. In general, feeling really good. Quads are very sore after training, so I don't know if I'm just not warming down or I've tweaked it somehow. Anyway, so just been working on really trying to get them stretched out before training on Sunday. But in general, feeling really good. Kind of crazy in a month, four weeks, we'll be starting IVF round two. IVF round four, second type of protocol. That's all going to be happening very soon. It's right around the corner. Really trying to work on taking all my supplements and pretty much just doing, working out more, walking more with this one and just feeling better and looking after my body as best as I can. So that's nutritious food and being active and uh, it's going to be crazy. I'm actually looking forward to this one, so I'm getting a bit excited. And I think I'm ready to do this thing again in just a couple of weeks. See you soon. So I did a thing, I um, thought it was time for a freshening up and a bit of a change. I guess part of my self care plan, I just wanted to feel good about myself and um, I haven't had my hair cut since before I started IVF in July last year. So I think August I came back from the States, had my surgery and started IVF only a couple weeks after that. So yeah, it's been over a year, which also means it's been almost a year since I've been actively doing IVF. Um, yeah, so today is about new haircuts, catching up with family, and then tomorrow is about church and football. Uh, just doing the things to take care of myself, uh, both emotionally and physically, and uh, Getting ready for next month, which is very close. So I guess I'll be up for it then. Hi guys, just thought I'd give you a quick update and let you know how we are doing. Everything's been fine, nothing uh, too crazy, too new information, but <clears throat> um, been back at football training. Then I had to stop football training because I was stupid and rolled my ankle walking Chloe. Um, and then as you might be able to hear, I've kind of gotten a bit sick. And so just the combination, I haven't trained for like a week. Anyway, so hopefully back in pads and actually contact training on Sunday. So excited about that. 
Um, I called up the Adora, our uh, fertility clinic in Craigie, and um, because I had not yet received our package of all of our um, paperwork for the labs and everything to do for this next round of IVF. So it had been about two and a half weeks since our doctor's appointment and um, <clears throat> yeah, just hadn't got it in the mail yet. So I called them up. They hadn't misplaced it in there. It's been in the mail. It's not there yet. So they resent it. Um, and while I was on the phone, uh, we just checked in. Um, my BMI was under last time, but they still think I need to have it checked every time. So you have to make sure my BMI is under 35%, um, which I'm not worried about, especially since I don't have to weigh in day one of my cycle. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that should be totally fine. Um, so once I start this cycle, uh, which is supposed to be any day now, I need to call them and inform them that I've started my cycle, then they will inform me when my day 21 is. Uh, not that I can't do the math, they just have a particular thing they wanna do. And then I do bloods on day 21 to make sure I'm good to go, and then I'll get the message that night to start medication for suppression. Uh, there is a new medication, um, so, uh, Metapure, which I've heard a lot of other people have been on before. Maybe it's because I'm on a different protocol. Anyway, so um, that is all good. I believe it is uh, more like my trigger, as in it's not pre-done. I will have to mix up the injection myself. So, I have a feeling that's going to be a daily one. So, I'm going to need to mix every day, which just might mean doing medication on the go is going to be harder. So, I really want to make sure that I get the timing of it right, especially with working and commute on the way home is sometimes up to an hour and a half. So, I really got to be careful about the timing. Other than that, everything's looking good and um, yeah, I will let you know when I make the call and um, update with what's happening. See you soon.